you are you. Right, the reason I'm having to prepare all of this for this is because what we are up against here is this son of a bitch. This guy has 220,000 HP, 1300 physical attack, 1400 physical defense. It null- it almost nulls the core phys uh, core elemental magic. It's very resistant against stab, it's not resistant against slash, thank god. Um, it's also not really resistant against mystic, which is quite nice. But yeah, it's got a crap ton of stuff, it's just incredibly powerful all around. And I'm not convinced I'm gonna win, but... We can but try. So here goes, I guess. Definitely the toughest fight of the um of the non-storyline stuff. So this thing. I'm not gonna do too much with Sakio for a little bit. I'm gonna just wait until I have buffs on her entirely. Um, that's the main idea here. So the slight problem with this formation is that I can't defend everybody very well because yeah, that's that's a bit of an issue. So yeah, not um, not so sure on that one, but whatever. Um, it uses a lot of breath attacks, so kind of like the Hydra, you still need to have Ira around, but it does a lot more than just breath attacks, so don't expect to be completely safe with that. To the point where I'm actually going to open up with Starlight Barrier here, I think. Which means I should have used Horror Idol, but oh well. Yes, it buffs itself up a lot. Do expect to see that. It buffs up both magic and physical. So you're not safe on either, either side, really. Now we can- now we fight. Yep, that's pretty much how this is going to go. Smash it in the face and hope that you win. Heal often as well, that's the other thing. Right in the face. I've got to win now. I have to win. I have to win now. I absolutely must win this fight now. That is one of the ultimate skills that Satori can learn. I must win this fight now, because if I don't win this fight now, I won't get to keep that skill. Yes, okay, right. That puts a bit of a new perspective on things.
It's gonna take a long time, though. I don't really care about the decoy, because it's not doing very much anyway, so... That's another thing which Satori can learn, but of course I... Ooh, wow. Okay, um... Yes. Anti-magic comes in handy a lot. <laughs> okay, dodge that one. That's a guaranteed party wipe if you're not ready for it. sure which one it was going to do. This is a problem. It can do both Dragon Breath and Comet off of the same focus. Comet is obviously magic, Dragon Breath is obviously physical. Both are party wipes if you don't have the if you don't have a good setup for them. So my combination there was to reflect both breath and magic so that I wouldn't take a da wouldn't take damage from either of them. That was the idea. Survival strats, guys. <laughs> Survival strats. Wow. Oh no! Oh good, it hit, it hit Saki. She's already got to power her up, so... Whew. That could have been painful. I healed up. That's okay. I can live that. It's alright for just now. It's alright for just now. You're doing good. 
Actually, who's anti-magics and all of that? Um, four, two... Okay, so you're the next one to move, right. Halfway there. Sakuya's MP is still going strong. We're all right. That's another skill that can be learned, but as I said before, I think actually, it's only a weekend that you can learn that actually. Uh, I'm worried about Satori's MP though. That's going down pretty fast. Magic defense went down, that's right. Never thought I'd have to be worried about Satori's MP, but man, his skills are costing a lot, so... I think you actually first hear it in, yeah, Kaguya and Eren, yeah. Land is a gauge of how strong attacks are. The more that, uh, you know, you've got fire and water on opposite sides, earth and lightning on opposite sides, light and dark on opposite sides. The stronger, the, the further the land is towards one element, the stronger that element becomes, but the weaker the other element becomes. Some attacks only work when the land is at a certain gauge, you know, favoring, and, uh, yeah. this really slowly, I know, but you I've got to make sure that I'm not going to deviate from anything here, because if I fail this now, I'm also trying to conserve um, Satori's MP, because I, it is running low, and I'm worried about that.
class. Oh, he does. That's why I'm being extremely careful here, because he does. So where I would love to have Raymo at the moment, but you know, because of the light being so far, you know, so far in favor, her attacks would be pretty strong right now, but That's it. I oh my god, I had just one turn. Oh my god. That almost ended extremely terribly. Holy crap. Okay, basically if you don't know, Elixir would have healed 100,000 HP. I almost lost this fight entirely because I would not have been able to recover from that. It almost cured itself of 100,000 HP in one shot. Holy crap. Yeah, but now I can't heal. I can revive, but I can't heal. So now, now is where the real fight begins. It couldn't because I cast Colosseo World. I cast this I cast a field spell which negates healing. And Alice has taken an absolute hammering because of this now, but uh, what choice do I have? I've gotta take it down. I can't heal, so. I've just got a whale on it. I've got to take it down as fast as I can. Magic went down on someone, didn't it? No, it didn't. Okay, good, good, good. Going strong, going strong. It's gone, it's gone, it's gone, it's gone, it's fucking 
gone. We've done it. We win. Oh yes. Oh yes. Whew. Cosmic Lightning gets. Fuck yeah. Also, getting two Dragon Fangs as well. That is awesome as well. Whew. Okay, yes. I took a lot of time to prepare for that. It, t it took me about three goes to work out what, um, what to do in that fight. How to win with that one. But it finally happens. And yeah, that's the second time I've taken it down, but oh god, yes. So, the skill that we get for Satori... ...is that. I want to know how much this is gonna do. Not too bad, considering it's got no cooldown, and it's not buffed at all. That is not bad. I can certainly boost that further. 